So with the polishing, we are going to use three tools. We will use BWA, SAM tools, and Pylon. We will first map the liminal rays to the assembly. And after that, a BAM file will be generated. This BAM file will be sorted and indexed. And then Pylon will be used to do the polishing. So let's go to the terminal and I'll show you how that is done. So I'll first clear the screen and then I'll do an LS again. So let's LS into the fast kill directory and see our files. So we have our liminal file here. The reads are here. Let's also LS into the assembly. We have everything we need. So we are going to map the aluminum reads, the reads here, to this one here. And then we are going to do some processing and finally do the polishing. So that's how we will do it. We are first going to create a directory called polishing. So I'll say make the polishing. And then we are going to cd into it. So after we are done with the seeding, we are going to create another directory again inside this polishing directory. So I'll say make the assembly. Then we are going to copy the assembly, this file here. We are going to copy it into this directory. So to do that, we will say cp dot dot slash. That means the parent directory. And then we are going to say nanopore assembly slash assembly dot fast a. And then we are going to copy it to assembly. So now let's do an ls. We will see this directory here. So in this directory, we are going to find our assembly dot fast a file, this file here. So this is it. Now let's proceed. We are now going to index this assembly file here because it's going to serve as our reference sequence. So we'll use BWA. So I'll say BWA and I'll say index and I'll say assembly slash assembly dot fast A. So I'll run this command. Okay, so indexing has been done. So now we are going to map the short reads. This one here, we are going to map to this one here, this assembly file here. Okay, so don't forget that this assembly.fast A was generated using the long reads. So we are going to polish, and that means we will use the liminal reads. So let's clear the screen and continue. Let's do an LS again to check our files here. Let's ls into the Pascal directory again. Okay, so now we are going to map the reads, the short reads to the assembly. So to do that, we will say BWA mem and then I'll say dash T, that's number of threads, I'll use eight. And then I'll say assembly slash assembly dot first a. This is our reference sequence. And then I'll specify the aluminum reads to so dot dot slash. And I'll say fast slash illumina dot fast kill. And then I'm going to add a pipe symbol. So I'll add this and I'll say some tools view dash space dash SB. There's a dash here, a space, and then dash SB. So take note of that. I'll then add another pipe symbol. That is this one here. And then I'll issue this command also. I'll say some tools sorts 
and I'll bring another dash again, space dash at, and then I'll say space eight, and I'll say dash o, mapping dot bam. So all that we are doing here is to map the reads and also sort them. And then we are going to generate our BAM file here. We will use this BAM file later on. So let's execute this command. Okay, we have generated a BAM file. So we are going to index this BAM file. So we will use some tools. So we will say some tools index mapping.bam. This will index the BAM file. Let's do an ls to check the file. So we have that here. Perfect. We are now going to use pylon to polish the assembly. So we will say pylon dash dash genome. And that will be assembly slash assembly dot fast a. And then I will say dash dash fix space or space dash dash changes. And then I'll add another flag again. I'll say dash dash compared. And I'll say mapping dot bam. And I'll say dash dash outputs and I'll say polished. So the outputs polish means that all the files generated by Pylon will have this as a part of their names. This name will be part of their names in addition to the file extensions. So let's execute this command to polish the assembly. Okay, polishing has been done and we have a summary here telling us the mean coverage. Now let's take a look at the output files. Let's do an ls and we are going to find some files here. There's a BAM file, there's also the polish.changes file and there's the polish.fastA. Let's start with the BAM file. So the BAM file here, we can inspect it and then we can get some statistics from this particular file. So let's just look at the mapping statistics and then we can discuss further. So let's see some tools, flag stats, and let's specify the BAM file. Okay, so we have that here. I want us to look at this line here, the one which has the map information. So here we see that 99.94% .94 of the reads, the short reads, map to the assembly okay so ideally we should have majority of the reads mapping to the reference sequence in this case the assembly and that is what we have here so that means things are looking good let's also look at the polish.changes this one here this far here so this has all the changes that pylon made so we can look at the contents let's do a head and then specify the file so we are going to find the information so you will have the changes that were made as well as the context on which these changes were made so that's what we have here you can also count the total number of changes that were made so let's look at that so you can see wc-l and then specify the polish.changes file. So this will give you the number of changes. So we have 2,891 changes. That's what we have here. And the polish assembly is the polish.fastA file, this file here. So there's the polish assembly. What you should know is that nanopore data can have homopolymer deletions. This can be corrected by polishing with illuminar reads, and that is what we have done. So, in other words, polishing can improve assembly by correcting errors that may be present in the sequence data. So, now we have our polished assembly all right. 